The New York City Marathon, or the TCS New York City Marathon, is one of the six major marathons of the world in the Abbott series, and so it's been my goal to complete all six. The doctors diagnosed me when I was about a year. Well, I have a genetic heart condition called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. The U, our uracils, are going to be a nitrogen base. Jennifer Polison teaches ninth grade biology and health science at Bonnie Lake High School. You guys were just trained, at, a lot of you were tra trained in CPR. We have the AED. That's basically what it is inside of me. I have always kind of appreciated or um, had a, I guess, appreciation for being able to be active um, because I wasn't always able to with my heart condition. So. Um, as soon as I could start playing sports, I did. Basketball in high school, rugby in college, and running ever since she got her PhD in molecular and medical genetics. And at the same time that I was doing that, my sister was diagnosed with the heart condition that I have as well. And then my aunt was actually waiting for a heart transplant at the time. So hyper, meaning too much, trophic, meaning cell growth, so too much cell growth, Cardio is heart, myo is muscle, pathy is disease. I was running at the time and it just kind of made me reevaluate my life a little bit and say, do I want to really push um, my career and have everything else on hold that I want to do, especially with my heart condition? Or is there something else that I could do and enjoy and still have a little bit more balance in my life? It was open, and it was open to the page of what we're talking about now. I told you this is my favorite topic. I changed courses a little bit and got my teaching certificate and then started teaching and really kind of found my passion here. Jennifer knows more struggle than most. My father also had the condition, so he passed away when I was 10 from that, and then um, I have three sisters as well, and so it kind of put us in a position as a family um, that we struggled quite a bit. And so my older sister and I really kind of took charge and, and helped out with that condition and um, helped raise my younger sisters. At 10 and 12 years old, her and her older sister essentially became adults and did what they could to keep the siblings together. My mom um, wasn't able to really take care of us. I make things that are important to me a priority, and I put effort to make sure that those things happen. If I were to, to die tomorrow, there isn't too many things that I would say, oh, I wish I would have.